glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're just about set for Conference USA action. Warm-up's almost over and kickoff is on the way. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Rodgers is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 30. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's on the run. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Tango, tango. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Marshall's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Quick pass, the five. Nice play to set up first and goal. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. with the extra point. An eight-play, 71-yard drive. 
and they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Smith gets set to kick this one away. And he'll return this one from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Butler's overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things. And today, they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. Nice run there. Wilson picks up about seven yards on the halfback draw. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And a quick throw. And he's level at the 49. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. the middle for a nice game. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. He makes his way to about the 28. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the three. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47 Mike. Set, set, set. Roger. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. We've got second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. For McGill, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. We played one quarter. Marshall leads 7-0. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. Let's go. That brings us fourth and goal. 
They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Rodgers ready to kick. He's out to the 30, and he just got stood up right there. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Marshall is up by four. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. is out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made at the 41. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Downtown. It's going the other way. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. Game 13 on the play. First down. To about the 31 yard line. That's good. That's right. 14, 14 yards. First down. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Caught out in the open. Brought down at the 15. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. From the 15-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 15-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He might have a chance. Tackle around the six yard line. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled.
It's up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Rodgers has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Sullivan gains about five yards on the play. Two minutes to go in the half. Marshall up a point. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 46. at the 28-yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. And he's hit immediately. Marshall's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. to his receiver and he tackles him hard at the two-yard line he's taken down around the two-yard line no game. that brings him second to the Fires in there, got it, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Schmidt has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down in the open field. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 44. Fires out to his wide out, and he hits him hard at the 38. Florida International will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Pass is caught, and defense lays him out. 200 and he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day.
Looks middle. Got his back. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here we go! but he can't shake the defense. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Kicks up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Taken at the five. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. We played a half of football. Marshall leads 14 to 9. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced. David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. From the seven, he's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's got it with room to run. And for Johnson, his receiving yardage totals all season have been off the charts. Over the course of an entire year, you're going to take some shots when you catch as many passes as he does. But he's always been able to bounce back for more yards. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. First down. From the 44-yard line, first down. Gains his way in the 29-yard line. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled in the open field. 
Stewart with the tackle at the 21-yard line. That makes it second and So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's got the corner. Runs through a defender, and he's in. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they get the two. Rodgers gets set to kick this one away. Kaysen fields it at the two. Brought down at the 24-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's level at the 32-yard line. to the 40. Makes it to the 44. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Scrambling around, and he is drilled at the 40-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. They'll make the sack. How about the intensity of the pass rush? If they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. It's the junior. Tackle made the 33-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That brings up second and nine. down and they need to get it to the 23 Roger, Roger. empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers five wide fires that quickly incomplete From the 20 yard line. Second down. And 
and they make the stop the 21 yard line. Quickly, and he's got his man. That's a great tackle at the 10. It was a well designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. They're going to go for the easy three here. Marshall is looking to tie things up. Kicks away, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Got a man. Watch out here. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 43. That brings up second and nine. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From the 46-yard line, first down. So at the end of three, this game is all tied up 17. tied up and we head to the all-important fourth quarter play fake waits deep ball laying it out there in and out of his hands Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Just throws this one away. On the screen. He's tackled around the 38 yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Tackle right around the 26 yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And hit hard as he came down with it. Jones makes the touch at the 25 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Ready! There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 29. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. 
They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Just under three to go in regulation. It's up, and it's good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Florida International is lining up to kick this one off. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Marshall's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He fires this one. He's taken down at the 47. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. three-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another catch. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it to the 15-yard line. No gain on the play. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 12-yard line. This is big-time resiliency by this offense. They're really doing everything that they need to do to put themselves in a position to have a chance to get points on the board. First time out of the half. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. In the shotgun and five wide out. Touchdown! 
them the lead. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. He hits the PAT. An 11 play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 24 20. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Weatherford from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. 
Golden Panthers have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. We have less than a minute to go. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 35. The Golden Panthers will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Brought down around the 39-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up. They're taking a slow down this drive. Florida International will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Caught with room to work. And he is drilled at the 36. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter he lets it fly keeps a foot in and pulls it down that makes it first and goal Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Set. Green 95. Green 95. And he's immediately tackled. Nothing going on that one. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Here's the eighth play of the series. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. That tackle just sealed the deal. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 24-20, Marshall. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.